Hi everyone, today's video is a dupe of the Ellis Fast eyeshadow which I'm wearing right now. Um, it's a little bit more subtle than the Ellis Fast um, dual chrome eyeshadow in I think it's E305, I'm not sure. I'm in love with it and that's why I wanted to duplicate this look and it's also something that I wore in my last video and I had some requests for this. If you want to know how to duplicate this look, please stick around and watch my video and make sure you click on the like button and subscribe and also check out my blog and my Facebook page. So on with the tutorial. So I already uh, applied my um, Guerlain Meteoroids to all over my face. Then what I'm going to use is the uh, L'Oreal, um, this is the L'Oreal Matte Morphos uh, foundation and I love it. It's in the color Beige Apricot. So as soon as I heard Apricot, I had to buy it because that is similar to my skin color. And um, it comes out very dark and then blends amazingly. So I'm just going to get my Zoeva. This is a Zoeva flat top brush. Just dip it in there so that there's some on my brush and pat it on the back of my hand and then start applying. And it's a very matte um, kind of silky effect so you can play after um, with your um, highlighters very well. Okay, so now that I have a nice matte finish, as you can see, but very luminous and it has um, just gone into my little wrinkles and crevices and stuff, I'm going to apply my concealer, is the um, Collection 2002 Light. I'm just going to apply it with some um, under my eye area along my um, laugh lines and on any spots that I have down my nose too and anywhere I want to illuminate so over my brows too and then just start blending with my finger Um, next step is to powder a little bit. I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium. And I'm just going to use it with, a, this is a crown fluffy brush. I'm just going to take some and just apply it under my eye area. Since it's a matte kind of finish, you don't want to overdo it. You just want to go around your nose. Maybe a little bit on your forehead and here in the chin area. Okay, now to give a little bit more of a chiseled um, look, I'm going to use my MAC Midtone Sepia or Sepia together with a Chanel Kabuki brush. I really like this. I just dab it in and instead of dragging it down, I'm just going to tap it on like kind of like the back here and in the end we're going to blend it out but just now like tap it on in the cheekbone area right here and then just blend it out a bit that's it just a little bit make sure you also want to bring it here on the jawline and down also so it gives a nice kind of sculpted look then for some highlight this is a Lorac uh, luminizer in two just gonna put some on the back of my hand like this use the same foundation brush and just we're going to apply it on the very uh, top of the cheekbone down the nose a little bit on the forehead and the chin and just blend, just pat more than blend. I like patting. Then to finish off with the skin, we're going to apply one of my favorites, which is, which is the uh, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, the blush and the bronzer together. 
with, I'm going to use it with my Kabuki brush. And as you can see, it just it gives a very um, beautiful kind of sun-kissed and blushy kind of um, feel. And to finish it off, I'm going to use my MAC um, MSF in Soft and Gentle. I like this because I'm just going to take the Kabuki brush and just um, apply just a little bit on my cheekbone. Not too much though because we have already a lot of shimmer and just glow already from all the products down the nose and a little bit on the forehead. And that's pretty much it for the face. You can get away with some sheen, like with powder products, because you didn't, um, you have a matte kind of foundation. And this foundation is like light as air, really. I mean, okay, so let's start with our eyes. Uh, I, of course, put some foundation on my eyelids and powdered it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the eyeshadow. This is the color that I'm going to use. And just gonna get some on my finger like this and apply it to the lid so that it gives a nice base to work with. Okay, now that we have a nice base all over our lid, we can start applying the beautiful um, Jessie Girl, this pigment. This is a very beautiful aquamarine kind of color. I'm going to take um, a little kind of brush like this and because we just want it to go on the um, center of our lid right here. And you can pretty much see that it's kind of bright. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, and that's pretty much the color that we have as a base. It's going to mix with the Shiseido Cream Eyeshadow too, but we don't really want it that much aquamarine because in the Ellis Fast um, eyeshadow, there's, uh, it's dual chrome, dual chrome. So we're going to take, this is the famous um, Yves Rocher it's Loose Pigment, and it's a very browny kind of pink. Just take some in the lid like this and we're just going to go over that green. And there you go. I mean, if I move around. Now if you want to go over it with any of these two colors because you want more of the blue to show through, the aquamarine to show through, I mean it's up to you. Let's go a little bit over it with the aquamarine. I've decided to do this a little bit more intense. I'm going to bring the uh, the blue also just in the middle underneath here um, without the pink together. Just a little bit underneath. And that's pretty much it. Um, very subtle. Now what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to take like a reddish brown and the reddish brown that I have is this one and it's a Stila color and it's called Coco. Um, I'm going to use an Yves Rocher uh, crease brush and what we're going to do is that we're simply going to fill in the outer corner here and the inner corner here and they're going to meet in the crease and then take a smaller brush and also do both um, the sides and so you just want to blend blend okay so um, as you can see I went in the outer corner and brought it up in the I brought it up in the crease here and connected it back with this and then what you're going to do is you're also going to take that brown and just connect it here. No, don't go over the 
green that you have put in the middle of your eye. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you want to blend everything. This is a MAC 224. Blend all of the edges out and maybe take like um, uh, a kind of neutral beige color. This or this, we're going to use it on the brow bone just a little bit. Any will do, I mean, this is like from an Avon palette that I depotted. But then in the inner corner, to give it some extra shine and sheen, we really like this is from a bedhead palette. I believe Lisa, Lisa D1 has this. And it's extra, extra shimmery. Look at that. Extra, extra shimmery. You can use a pencil brush. This is a crown pencil brush. And really, like, take a little tiny bit of it and put it in the inner corner. Just a tad. Okay. And that's it. If you want, you can also go here, but it's going to be a bit too much. But, you know, it's Christmas time, so. Um, now, of course, to intensify the uh, lash line, uh, this is a bedhead uh, pencil in brown. You're going to um, line the upper waterline and then just also line here on the lash line very quickly. This. So it's not a black and it's not really a brown, it's just going to intensify everything. And then you just blend it also with the back of the pencil, just like that. It's just going to intensify the whole look. My eyebrows, as you know, they're pretty much perfect. If you want, you can just intensify them. Uh, you can do your own eyebrows. I just need to intensify this little piece, which is a little less. Um, filled in than the rest so uh, and then for mascara I'm using my eyes to kill by Giorgio Armani the waterproof I will apply it well this is how the wand looks and I will be right back Um, that is the finished eye and I forgot to tell you that I used um, to curl my lashes the Chanel um, curler, <laughs> lash curler and then the Kiko to brush out my eyebrows. I bent this um, brush, brow brush and it's the Kiko one. To save time I went on and applied my lipstick already. This is from the Victoria's Secret palette. I used my favorite pink, which is this here. It's like a bluey kind of pink. And I uh, then applied a lip gloss from the same palette. I tore the palette, of course, as you can see, this one. And you can see my color on the cheekbone area very well here. And that's it. Uh, that is my Ellis Fast Dupe eyeshadow. You can intensify it, make it less um, aquamarine, make it more pink, make it more brown. I just like it like this. It's very subtle, very delicate. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, this is my first kind of tutorial with the camera. and. It's difficult, it's not that easy. The lighting is way better, so... You can find all of the pictures on my Facebook page of my makeup, and then a list of the products and the links to the Ellis Fast uh, website to show you the um, eyeshadow color on my blog. So make sure you follow those and go check them out. So thanks again guys um, for your patience and just everything and I hope this is a good enough uh, tutorial and lighting and everything. I'm pretty much pleased.